carrying the American flag. Robert Richardson, Navy. Carrying our POW MIA flag. Barry Midwood, Air Force. Well, good morning, friends. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Looks like reality is starting to hit a lot of things and a lot of people in the last couple of days, week or so. We're on the forefront of a serious issue, and I hope you're ready to deal with it, and I hope you're ready to listen. If not, well, I guess you'll learn the hard way. Well, that's certainly not a way to intro a video to make people feel nice and warm and cozy and gushy, but folks, that's the state that we are in. And I want to tell you right now that I've said openly on my forum on Facebook this week that if you're just here for casseroles and chicken care, you've got the wrong channel and you've got the wrong girl. We've been talking about a lot of these issues off and on for six, seven, eight years. And so I want you to be ready for anything at any time. I want you to be open-minded to anything at any time. This really does not have to do with who you are and where you're from and who you voted for per se. It has to do with it's time to take action and be serious, serious citizens taking care of ourselves and taking care of others. I don't know if you saw what's going on uh, as a, it's just been within the last, not even 24 hours. I got this letter yesterday as I was literally leaving to go to a uh, festival and a powwow. So I didn't make a video yesterday on that because we were wrapped up with being busy and I wanted to do a little bit more investigation in terms of, you know, is this really, is this really going on? Because the last thing I like to do is cry wolf. At this point in the game, I don't think it really is about crying wolf. I think it's about speaking from conviction and doing what's right. Folks, I don't know if you're a customer of Augustine Farms. It's long-term food storage, okay? If you've never heard of that, here they are. They're very popular. They're very good. And as of yesterday, a letter, or actually, I believe it was October the 7th, actually, the letter came out from Augustine Farms that they are basically ceasing operation for at least 90 days. You're talking about not even picking back up until January of 2022. And it's because you have a supply chain breakdown. Now, does this mean you should absolutely freak out and fully panic? Well, absolutely not. But what it does is a, it's, it shows another signal, another red flag of cause of concern. Now, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to this whole lifestyle, if you're new to this whole, whole mindset, folks, you're at the forefront of being able to take personal action for yourself in terms of making sure you and your family have the things that you need. Anytime you talk about having a pantry, anytime I've told you to have a pantry, whatnot, I'm showing you a little bit of August and Farms here, we're talking about something beyond one to two weeks. If you haven't started doing that, you are delayed, but it's not too late. So basically what they did was they sent out a letter to all of their customers and it goes into full detail of saying, we just can't meet the demand. We are stopping immediately. You can still get August and Farm items online, but I can tell you we've been watching since last night when we got home and you can get it on Amazon and Walmart and at their site, different things like that. And actually some of their items for several, several months have been difficult to get. They sell out quickly. Prices vary a little bit, but now prices are going up. I mean, I can just tell you that right now. And it's a conversation that I'm having with a lot of people. So I know it's just not me and James looking at the computer. It's other people we know and we trust that are saying, uh-uh, this is really happening. Now, like I said, if you don't get into something like this or if you don't have long-term food storage, you know, in your pantry, uh, and a little bit goes a long way, uh, there are many different options for you, okay? So you're having a supply chain breakdown. Folks, we've been warning of this for months and months and months. It doesn't take a rocket science scientist to look at all that we've been through the last 20 months to go at some point, this is going to hit. Then you look at global response to all of these things. You look at a lack of workers for various reasons, which we could get into and absolutely rumble all around about. The bottom line is, is this is what's happening. Now again, Another issue that's come up I've seen in the last day or two, and you may already be seeing this, you may already know about it, is things like diapers. Now, again, I'm not showing you this to make every mama scared out there and her go out and run and buy the entire stock of Walmart diapers today. I'm telling you to be smart is what I'm doing. I'm saying over the next couple of weeks, it's always smart to pick up an extra thing or two of this. 
I've told you before, don't buy one pack of something, grab two. If you need peanut butter because you're out, get two. Be smart. I happen to have a little stockpile of diapers because if you've watched my videos the last six to eight months, you know, I had, or actually longer than that since last Christmas, we had a whole bunch of goat babies that we were bottle feeding and I did use diapers for them. So I'm fortunate that I have a little bit of, di you know, I have a few diapers. I kept them. I thought, you know, somebody I know might need them. And that's the thing. I don't have a baby, but I know people that have babies. Are you going to be expecting a baby? Be smart, especially with those babies, y'all, and get items ahead of time that you need. If you're a mamaw and your daughter or daughter-in-law is gonna be having a baby soon, the number one thing you might wanna think about getting besides the very basics is the ultimate basic is diapers. If you are going to be getting items to even have your own uh, you know, homemade diapers in a sense, okay, cloth diapers. If this becomes competitive, so are cloth diapers. So whatever you need to do in that arena, I would highly advise that. Now, if you are out there and you're like, Patera, I don't have a lot of this, or I didn't get any of this, or I, don't, I can't afford this. Folks, the basics are important. Let me switch my hands. It's early morning, <laughs> and I gotta get milk, and my, my, my milk stuff is finished up. I bleached it and cleaned it, and I've run it through the dishwasher. I gotta go up there and get milk in this cow. Folks, it's the very basics. Don't miss it. Beans, band-aids, and you know what else. I'm not even going there. Get things on your pantry shelf. I called my Nana last night and had a full-blown conversation with her. And she was like, Patera, I've been seeing this. And Patera, I've been noticing that. And Patera, I've been told this. And Patera, I actually saw this myself. Folks, it's not just people on YouTube. It's not just homesteaders and people that are into the self-reliant lifestyle. They're back here saying, this is what's going on. I'm telling you, your basic mammals and aunties and friends are saying, we're seeing this now too. And it varies across our country. If you are in an area right now where you are blessed with decent prices still on something, if you are blessed where you have access to a little extra this or extra that, you may not necessarily need it. This is where I'm going with this, like with these diapers. I guarantee you, if this panic happens, or and you're at the forefront of it, you right now have an opportunity to help somebody else, probably in a very short time period. That's what we do. It's not just about helping ourselves, getting items for ourselves, being smart and ahead of the curve for ourselves. It's to help out brothers and sisters, neighbors, cousins, whoever this might be, people you go to church with. So I want to say, I don't know all the ins and outs of the business of Augustan Farms, but I will say that it is a red flag in the breakdown that we're having for multiple reasons. And we can blame all kinds of people and we can blame all kinds of problems and we can go at it all day long. Trust me, I have a lot to say these days. But the bottom line is today is you need to be smart. Anything you can do, anything you can do makes an entire huge difference. I said on my last video, let me switch arms. I said on my last video, when I started thinking about preparing my pantry, I did it on a budget and it started out as $10 a week. $10 a week. If $5 is all you can do, you can go get five bags of beans today. Next week, you can go get hopefully two or three things of peanut butter. You can get some canned yams or you can get canned corn or you can get pasta, pasta, pasta. All of these items, if you start small and gradually build, you may have to do a little bit more right now, okay? But this is a smart investment. Trust me, you will use these items. Trust me, there will be people that need these items. Trust me, if push comes to shove and nothing ever happens and we're all laying on the beach with a margarita or a pina colada or just a good old uh, lemon water, whatever, Folks, you can take your items and you can donate them to a shelter. I know what I want for Christmas, don't you? A bag of pinto beans and maybe an extra stockpile of salt. And you know what? Have you noticed the Thanksgiving items are very pricey? Don't you want that pecan pie this, this season? I do too. They're saying that items for Thanksgiving already here in October 
may be difficult to get. I have seen items that I usually get at this time of year, but I'm keeping my eye out. If you don't have your turkey or your turkey breast or whatever, but here's the bottom line. You also have to be able to shift gears, okay? You don't necessarily have to have, you know, a turkey for Thanksgiving. Maybe you just need a simple chicken casserole from canned chicken. Folks, we have to think outside of the box. We have to think ahead. We have to think of each other. So I urge you today to do your due diligence, do your homework, okay? And stay ahead of the curve because you never ever know when you're making a world of difference, not just for you and your, you know, your children, your mama, whoever, but someone you may not even know yet, and it all matters. The red flags are here. Those that are paying attention and that have been paying attention and those that have been doing over time, folks, you are the saving grace of we the people. And if no one is giving you that credit, and if no one is giving you that pat on the back and that big hug, I want you to know I'm doing that to you right now today. Because I know the sacrifice of planning, planning ahead, spending your time and resources, and taking care of yourself and others is the ultimate thing you can do. Last but not least, while you can get your hands on items at the freezer section, still fairly inexpensively, hopefully, mixed vegetables, fruits, things like that, get you a couple of bags and put them in the dehydrator, okay? If you don't have a dehydrator, hopefully someone in your family or in your neighbor, we work with our neighbors, will allow you to borrow one for maybe a couple of days. Work with your dehydrator. Get your items dehydrated. If you can get them into jars and seal them, you can get those items fairly inexpensively. Folks, you can create your own pantry long term. And apparently, you're going to have to stay ahead of the curve. We appreciate you watching. I was, like I said, we were going yesterday and I got some information literally. <laughs> what are my ducks doing? Uh, we were headed out and I was reading information and we had a family day and I wanted to do some research before I put this video out, but I kept looking today and the Lord said, it's time to speak. Got a lot of people listening and I want you to be smart because me telling you, and hopefully, like I said, if just one or two or 10 people change something today, I know I've done my part. All right, we gotta go milk this cow. I love y'all. Thank you so much for all the views this week. And uh, guess what? I got this out because apple butter and sausage is the afternoon agenda after I sell eggs. So stay busy, stay ahead. We'll see you on the next video.